Hello, I'm former Special Smith of the U.S. Army Infantry, and I'm here to talk to all the atheists, the scientists, the Scientology, and uh, the biogeologists. I'm not here to save the so-called saved and believers. I'm here to save the unsaved and the unbelievers. With the stuff that I have to show the world is what I do on a daily basis to help turn atheists and Scientology and scientists into believers just by one simple uh, conversation with me. Today we're going to talk about dinosaurs and I'm going to show you where dinosaurs are in the Bible. Now what most people make a mistake is that they want the Bible to say Brontosaurus, Tesaurus, Rex, Willy Mammoth, Stegosaurus, but the Bible's not going to say that. In order to find dinosaurs you have to first break them down to what the science say call them prehistoric animals. Well, in order to find these prehistoric animals, we have to first find prehistoric man. And that is Adam, because it doesn't get more prehistoric than that. And the guy that, um, in the movie that I would like to do with the uh, Star Trek Voyager writers and the Tanaka writers, um, the Tanaka writers, um, is um, I like to use the Bushman tribe as the Adam, playing the role of Adam because we did the DNA test on all men on earth and we discovered that the Bushman tribe is the oldest tribe of homo sapiens on earth and all homo sapiens today that exist on planet earth evolved from the Bushman tribe. And, uh, and what we have to do is first, when we find Adam, then we know that any animal that t that's around Adam's time or before Adam's time is your prehistoric reptiles. And we'll find that in, if you have a Tanaka, you'll find that in Genesis chapter 1 verse 20. God said that the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and birds that fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. God created the great sea monsters and all the living creatures of every kind that crept uh, which the waters brought forth in swarms. And all the winged birds of the, every kind and God saw that this was good. God blessed them saying be fertile and increase and fill the waters, the seas. And, the, uh, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning and there was a fifth day. Now Genesis chapter 4 verse, uh, I mean chapter, Genesis chapter 1 verse 24 reads, God said, let the earth bring forth every kind of creature, cattle, creeping thing, and wild beast of every kind. And it was so. God made wild beasts of every kind, the cattle of every kind, and all kinds of creeping things of the earth. And God saw that the um, that this was good. And God said, "Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. They shall rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the cattle of the whole earth, and all the creeping things that creep on the earth." So uh, when it says God, I can also break this down to a uh, to a better form where y'all atheists and scientists can understand it. Um, but that, but at first I want to show you that's where the dinosaurs are at. You have to first find prehistoric man, which is Adam, the Bushman tribe Adam man. And then after you find the Bushman tribe Adam man, you have to find dinosaurs that existed before him. And then you will see that there's animals that existed before him, during him, and after him. So these are your prehistoric reptiles, your prehistoric mammals. And that's how you find dinosaurs in the Bible. And I am the translator. And I have just translated that. Now I can also read this in translation for the uh, scientists and the atheists. The extraterrestrial homo sapiens superior, um, the head of Elohim, the one identified as God said, let the waters bring forth swimming, uh, swarms of living creatures and birds that fly um, above the earth across the expanse of the sky. The extraterrestrial homo sapiens superior, the head of Elohim, the one who identifies himself as God, created the great sea monsters and all the living creatures of every kind that, that creep, which the uh, waters brought forth in swarms, and all winged birds of every kind. And the extraterrestrial homo sapiens superior, the head of Elohim, the one who identifies himself as God, saw that this was good. The extraterrestrial homo sapiens superior, the one, the head of Elohim, the one who identifies himself as God, um, blessed them, saying, "Be fertile and increase, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth." And there was evening, and there was morning, a fourth day. And the Homo sapiens extraterrestrial 
superior head of Elohim, uh, the one who identifies, identifies himself as God, said, Let the earth bring forth every kind of living creature, cattle, the creeping thing, and wild beasts of every kind. And it was so. And God, in the homo sapien, extraterrestrial, um, homo, uh, extraterrestrial homo sapien superior, the head of Elohim, the one who identifies himself as God, made wild beasts, of every kind, cattle of every kind, and all the kinds of creeping things of the earth. And the extraterrestrial homo sapiens superior, the one, uh, the head of Elohim, the one who identifies himself as God, saw that this was good. And the homo sapiens extraterrestrial homo sapiens superior, um, the, the head of Elohim, the one who identifies himself as God, said, Let us make man in our image and in our likeness. They shall rule the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, the cattle of the whole earth, and all the creepy things that creep on the earth. And that's also proof that we are not natives of this side of the universe. Uh, homo sapiens are evolved from homo sapiens superiors. And we come from a different section of the universe. Wherever God was created himself at, he went through the Darwin theory. If y'all familiar with the Darwin theory, where we went from amoebas to fish to water life, then from water life to land life, and from land life into ape, into monkeys, and then monkeys into ape, then apes into homonyms, then homonyms into homo sapiens. And, um, and, um, and in the Bible, it says that these extraterrestrials that, uh, that we identify as homo sapiens superiors, that I identify as homo sapiens superiors, came to this planet after they already build animals and, and life and oxygen and grass and trees. Then they decided to build a, a band in their image. Now Adam had 100% brain capacity, superhuman speed, strength, and agility until he ate the forbidden fruit. And then that's when he went from having a homo sapien superior form to a homo sapien um, inferior form. So Adam went from a superior form to an inferior form. And that's why me and you grow old and die today. This is what the angels told me. If Adam would have never ate or consumed the tree of knowledge of good and bad, all those solar systems that are around our planet that we see at night when we look up at the sky, those stars, each star is a solar system. We will already be ruling and dominating those stars. We will already be in our Star Trek stage and in our space stage, and we'll be already at those planets. But since he ate the, of the tree of knowledge of good and bad, we're now in an inferior stage, and we went to a, from a high evolution stage to a de-evolution stage, and now we are advancing back into that high evolution stage by generation and generation, as each generation gets stronger and stronger, we get smarter and smarter, and we grow closer and closer to that brain pattern that we were before Adam and Eve ate of the tree of knowledge of good and bad. And that's my theory, the homo sapien theory, or should I say the extraterrestrial theory, where mankind is not native of this planet. God went through the Darwin theory, came into this form of a man. Then from that, he created everything that we see today that we know in the universe, that we know in, on planet Earth, he, him and, uh, um, and the Elohim, that's, that us, that he said, let us make man in our image, they're the ones who are working with God, and all this is just a big, giant experiment. If you pass the experiment, you go to heaven, obviously. If you fail the experiment, you go to hell. And Ron Reagan, what I like to tell you is that what hell is, is obviously it's going to be a time when the sun is going to supernova and it's going to expand. And when it expands, it's going to consume Mercury, it's going to consume Mars, and guess what? We're third rock from the sun. Yes, you better believe it, Ron Reagan, that it's going to consume Earth as well. And there's your hell and there's your brimstone. And these extraterrestrial homo sapiens superiors that I've met are going to come down here and rapture who they desire. You want to know why, Ron Reagan? Because the dead cannot save the living. Um, the living cannot save the dead. Only the living can save the dead. Um, and what I'm waiting by that is that the angels that I met, I'm the only man on earth that cannot say or cannot be an atheist, cannot be a Scientology guy, cannot be a, a man that's so smart in science that I don't believe in God. 
Because I saw the truth staring at me while I was staring back at them. They waved at me, showed me they had five fingers and five toes, just like me. I wasn't scared. They didn't want to experiment on me. They didn't want to cut me open. They didn't want to probe me. All they wanted to do was communicate with me and break down um, the walls of uh, segregation and open up the doors of contact of the third kind. And because of that, I can never be an atheist. I can never be an unbeliever. And I'm the only man on earth because I saw the truth staring at me while I was staring back at them. And what I'm trying to make y'all understand is that these homo sapiens superiors are out there watching us. And these are going to be the guys that are going to come up here and save the dead and save the living. All they need is probably a DNA sample or a tissue sample of some sort. And they can recreate your physical form with their medical science or their medical technology and form the same you back into existence with the same consciousness of awareness of oneself. And I am former specialist Smith of the U.S. Federal Army Infantry, and that is where you will find your dinosaurs at. Smith out.